we're going to go ahead and get started, but we're also recording, so I can definitely share this out for anyone who is unable to attend or if anyone joins a bit late. We also have chat and Q&A set up, so that's going to be the best way to ask any questions or get some clarification. So to begin, my name is Cassie Plisky. I am your district's academic success coach. So I am here to support with the planning and implementation of the FEV tutoring program at Williamsburg James City County Schools. All right, so just a brief overview of our agenda. And then a quick introduction again. My name's Cassie. So like I said, I am your academics or your district's academic success coach. Prior to joining the ed tech space, I was a special education teacher for nine years. And then I'm also backed up by a 24 seven scheduling and support team. And I just want to double check to make sure now that I'm thinking about it, that I've provided the right email address. I'm fairly certain that it's two C's instead of three. But if you just give me one second, I can just double check on that. So I'm second guessing myself. Yep, it is WJCC. Good. I got it right the first time. All right. So that's going to be your go-to if you have any questions or you need some help scheduling. That 24-7 family and student engagement team is there to help you. And also the number provided is another way that you can reach out to that team. Again, though, if you have any questions during this presentation, please feel free to go ahead and put them in the chat or in the Q&A box. And I will pause throughout this to address any questions or concerns. All right, so who or what is FEV Tutor? So we're a live one-on-one -on -one tutoring program. So there is a real live person who will be matched with your child if they need assistance with any core subject areas. Your district is providing homework and coursework support. So the expectation with that model is that your child comes with a specific question or assignment or a standard that they need help with. So it is student led but we do have tutors that are trained in that content area. They have four-year degrees. They're educational experts. And again, they have background in the specific content area that your child needs help with. We're available on any device. So your students are can access us via Canvas, which brings us to the FEV Tutor portal. And you'll see that when I do the live demo in a few minutes, that's how I'm gonna log in, not through Canvas, but through our portal. We also have a family and student engagement team. So when if you do email wjcc at fevtutor.com, you're going to connect with that team and they again can help with scheduling or any sort of support that you need assistance with. We are connected to the core learning environment. So like I said, we cover core courses. So English, math, science, and social studies are things that we can support your students with. We truly believe in equity for all students. So that's my favorite part about being a part of the FEV Tutor team is we can be this connection. Um, I know that I don't have any kids right now, but if I had a kiddo and even if they were in fifth grade and they needed help with Common Core Math, I'm less familiar with the way that we're approaching math right now. And I'm not sure if I could support my child. And it's not really fair that maybe someone else would be able to help with that assignment we can be that who or that how to help with the assignment that maybe you just don't remember how to do. Or honestly, if anyone ever asked me about calculus, I never would have been able to help them with that, but we can do that. And then feedback in and reporting is really important to us. So through your child's dashboard, they can see how they're doing. They, you can also check on attendance. Um, we have transparency with our sessions. So they're all recorded and you can see the chat script from that session. So that's just a quick overview. I'm not seeing any questions yet, but again, please feel free to just go ahead and pop them in either the chat or in the Q&A box if you have them. So again, your district is offering live 24 seven homework and coursework support. So it's available on demand 24 seven. Your children can also schedule the support. So maybe if they have an assignment coming up or a test coming up, let's say, and they have a study guide and they wanna get some help leading up to that, they can go ahead and schedule those sessions with our tutors. 
Again, we can support across all subject areas and core content. Um, and we can be available to the school, the district, we're connected to, again, that core curriculum. I had a question about if this PowerPoint will be available, and I can definitely share that out along with the recording. Um, so I'll share it with one of your district leaders, and then they can pass that along to anyone who needs to review the PowerPoint or the video. Thanks so much for your question. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hop into the live demo. So when I click on this, it's gonna bring me over to our FEV Tutor portal. Again, your students do have a Canvas connection, so they can go to Canvas and be brought to this, but they can also log in via the FEV Tutor portal directly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get logged in. So now I'm on my dashboard. Everything that you see today is the same as what your students see. So we are looking at a student dashboard. We're seeing this all through a student perspective. I'll talk a bit more about what's on the dashboard once we finish this live demo session. So I have a scheduled session. I know that and it's ready to begin because I have this red flashing button up at the top of the screen that says your session has started, join now. So again, your students or your children could go ahead and schedule a session if they knew that they were gonna need support. It's important to remember that your kiddos do need to be on time for those sessions. Our tutors do hang out for 15 minutes past the scheduled time, but after that, our tutors are released to go and assist other students. If your child misses their scheduled time, no big deal. They can always request on-demand assistance again because that's available 24-7. All right, so now I am brought to my welcome screen. So we are in the live classroom. I'm gonna pause because I see that we have a question. So is this only available during the school year? You know what, your district and I haven't really talked so much about what summer plans look like. Generally, we kind of plan programs around the school year. Um, so that's something that we're going to definitely have to touch base with your district on to see what summer plans look like and to see who they're going to make that available to. But I can definitely touch base with them, and I'm sure that they can disseminate that information to y'all. All right, so back to what you're seeing on your screen. So we are in, again, our live demo. So you can see that we have a chat box, and I've been greeted by my tutor. So again, my tutor is a real person. My pr primary way of interacting with my tutor is going to be that chat box. We know that kiddos are 21st century learners. They're really comfortable texting and chatting. So this should be super comfortable for the majority of students. However, we do know and understand that students learn differently and have different abilities. So for students who are auditory learners and prefer to hear what their tutor is typing, they can enable text-to-speech. So they can do that up at the top and they can either mute it or turn it on. So that way, if I wanted to hear what my tutor was typing, I could enable that. And I can also speak directly back to my tutor through this one-way conferencing tool. So if I enabled that, then I can speak directly to my tutor if I prefer to interact that way as opposed to typing. So during your child's first session, the tutor is going to encourage them to interact with all of our various whiteboard tools so they can get really comfortable with our program. So we have things like the pencil tool and the highlighter tool, pointer tool, all those things, even an emoji, which is really fun. I don't know why I picked thumbs down, but I did. Um, but these are great, especially if your child needs assistance with ELA, they can use the highlighter to annotate their text, just like their teacher would ask in the classroom. Below are really important tools for homework and coursework support. So we have less a screenshot, but more so the file upload and the screen share. This is how your child could potentially share work that they need assistance with. So if they have an assignment that they wanna upload, maybe it's from Canvas, um, they can do that or they could screen share again if they're in Canvas or using a different tool so that's so they can show specifically what they need assistance with so their tutor knows how best to assist them. So once I get comfortable with using all of this, my tutor will prompt me to move on. I'll pause for a sec and see if we have any questions so far.
All right. And of course, your child would be more specific than homework help, please. Um, they can also share their assignments via that email address that I shared earlier. So the WJCC at fevtutor.com. Also, when they request an on-demand session, we do have the option to upload media or to state what question they need assistance with. And then here you're going to see that my tutor is going to once again prompt me. So this is where the more specific I can be, the better. So today I need to practice. If I just said multiplication, that's super broad. Um, am I working on like those very core basic facts, like my twos, my tens, or is it something way more complicated that's built into exponents? Um, so my tutor, of course, knows what grade I'm in, and they could try to gauge if I don't give them a ton of information, but it is better if your child says explicitly, I need help with exponents, I don't understand X. The more specific they can be, the better, and I know that I keep saying that, but just to make the tutoring process as smooth as possible, I wanna make sure that I reiterate that as much as possible. Or if they can share an example of their assignment or their specific assignment they need help with. Um, it could even be that you saw that your kiddo didn't do so hot on a test they could share that and they could get help with those specific questions that they really just need some extra support in those skills. So I'm just going to say next because my tutor is already going to have something loaded since again this is a demo scenario. So again now I'm being prompted to share what I need help with. Do I want to screen share? Do I want to upload? Do I want to write it out? I'm just going to say next again. Um, but please feel free to add any questions that you have into the chat or into the Q&A. All right, so next, again, in this scenario, we're gonna say that I wanna head an email, um, wjcc at fubtutor.com, and I shared my assignment with them, so my tutor has it ready. So they're gonna go ahead and upload it because they know that this is what I need assistance with today. Just waiting for my screen to load. And this is honestly probably a me internet problem. We're not having such great weather today. So I think I might be impacting that a little bit. I live in a super old house. And again, while we wait for this to load, do you have any questions? There we go. Thank you so much for your patience. All right, so we're jumping some screens because now that it's uploaded, my tutor wants to get a gauge for how I feel about this assignment. Because it could be that I just want some skill reinforcement, I want some practice. So maybe I do think that it's super easy. I just wanna double check and make sure that I'm doing it right or that I'm not missing anything or I'm using all of my tools to solve this. Um, is it okay or is it hard? Today we'll say that it's hard and we'll see how my tutor supports me with that. See, so they're gonna encourage me and say, no problem, I've got you, I'll support you because this is a safe environment. That's one of the things that I like about not having cameras in the classroom is it is way less intimidating to admit, I'm totally lost, I have no idea, everyone else in my class knows what's going on or it seems like it and I'm the one that isn't really sure. You can totally do that in this scenario and this tutor is here just to help me or help your child. Something else to note is I have not answered a single question yet um, but I've already earned some participation points. So that's what those points are up at the top. So I get those just for interacting with my tutor. They truly are what they sound like, just points for participating. Because again, we know that the kiddos that are getting the support might not be the ones that are the most comfortable in the academics that they need help with. So we want to encourage them throughout this process and make them feel good for being here. We also have other supports built into our virtual classroom. I can toggle between languages. So this is gonna be better. Um, maybe at home you speak Spanish and your children have spoken a lot of Spanish with you at home. So they're one of our emerging English language learners. They can go ahead and toggle to Spanish. Maybe you wanna support them with whatever assignment they need help with. This could be a tool so that way you could work on it together. And you could also understand how the tutor is supporting your child. So that's an option. I only understand and read English, so I am gonna jump back to that. I do have a question. So how is the tutor assigned? 
So we do our best if you have scheduled sessions and your child has had success with the tutor, we try to pair them up with the same tutor. That would be for scheduled sessions um, because of course our tutors' schedules change, kiddos' schedules change. Um, but when you request a session, whether you're scheduling it or you do an on-demand session, again, your child is gonna be paired with a tutor who is an expert in that content area. So that's why it's really important if you do schedule a session, they're gonna ask what subject area you need help in. So that way they can make sure that they're pairing your child with the best tutor to support in that subject area. If you have a scheduled session and maybe it's for ELA, but then you realize your kid did not do so hot on an assignment and they actually need some algebra support, that scheduled session isn't gonna be the best session for them to join to get that support because that ELA expert isn't gonna be the best person to help with algebra. So in that scenario, I would just go ahead, hop into my scheduled session, say, oh, actually I don't need help, get back out of it. And then you'll be able to request that on-demand session and get help with that specific different content area that you need help with. Again, because I wouldn't be so great if someone needed I'm not a tutor, but if I was a tutor, I wouldn't be so great at supporting math. English is where I have, I was a special ed teacher again, but I have certification in ELA, so I would be a great person to support in ELA, but if you threw me to support science, social studies, math, might not be the best person to do that. So we try to highlight our tutor strengths also. All right, so you see that this is the assignment that I shared with my tutor that I need help with, and they're gonna walk me through it. If maybe I didn't need help with the entire order of operations, I just needed help. It starts with exponents, so it's not a great example. But if that were toward the end and I just needed help with exponents, even though you know we need to follow, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, I could tell my tutor and I could say, go faster. This isn't what I specifically need help with. Or I can say, I specifically need help with this. Because again, this is all based on your child's need and we want to, it's this one-on-one -on -one tutoring scenario where the tutor can be flexible to help your child with whatever they specifically need help with. So again, I'm kind of went on before about how I'm not the math expert, so I'm not gonna make you help or make you watch me solve this, but let's say I say three, that's not the right answer. I know enough to know that. So let's see how my tutor supports me when I am struggling with it and I don't quite get things right. And while we see how my tutor is going to support me with that, do you have any other questions? So let's say, good try, let's recheck. And then I can say, I'm lost, I don't know. And you can see, if I'm totally lost and need a lot of help, my tutor will model it for me and walk me through all of the steps to make sure that I get to where I need to be. So they're gonna walk me through the steps. That's it about it for our demo example. So if you don't have any questions or if you don't wanna see this kind of all play out, I'm gonna go ahead to, and move on to other sections and back to the dashboard. But I will take a quick pause to see if anyone has any specific questions before I get off the screen. All right, so with these sessions, because again, they are student paced, your child can say, oh, I got it, I'm good, thank you so much. I'm done, you helped me with what I need help with. And the tutor can end the session. This can take five minutes or it can take 45 minutes. It just depends on how much assistance your child needs. But then at the end of every single session, your child is gonna be brought to a feedback screen. So this is where I can say if my tutor was really helpful, not helpful, um, anything that's three or lower, FEV, we consider that we failed and we need to improve on. So every single Wednesday, I have a quality assurance meeting where I review the feedback from students and we see exactly what they say and how we can get better and better, and better support our learners. Um, I can also be really specific again, if I have a scheduled session where I get homework and coursework support regularly at the same time, on the same day every week, I could say, Camille was great, I want Camille again, and we can do our best to match them with that tutor. Um, if the session wasn't so hot or your child didn't love everything about it, be honest so that way we can reflect on our practices and get even better. 
All right, so now that my session is over, you'll see that instead of that red flashing button, I have the option of requesting an on-demand session. So this is where I get home from school, I am lost, my adults at home can't support me. So I'm gonna click on that on-demand session. I'm gonna say what subject area I need help in. And then I can pick my specific content area. And I can even in the extra part, maybe it's actually AP statistics. I can give that extra information, say AP stats and let them know so that way they can have as much information as possible. Again, this is where I can upload my assignment. I could even send a link if it, we had Canvas information and we needed to get into that so that way we can support your child with exactly what they need help with. This is where I can view my schedule. So the, this is where I could go ahead and book sessions out. So again, I know I have a test coming up. I have a study guide. I wanna get ready for it ahead of time. I can book out some sessions and get that prep done. Um, my learning plan is less helpful for the homework and coursework support, but recent sessions is where you can review what happened. So I can watch the recording. I can see the chat script. Um, so that way, if I felt like my tutor did a really got, good job of instructing me, I could go ahead and rewatch that session. Um, maybe you as the parent want to kind of understand what's going on. You can even review it, parent or guardian. All right. So that is about it for our demo scenario. So I'm going to hop back to our slides, but I will take a quick pause and see if we have any other questions. All right, so now a bit more about our family and student engagement team. So we can do outgoing communication. So if your district wants us to reach out to you, this team is the team that would do that. We can also help you with any technical or scheduling issues. So again, that's going to be the WJCC at FEVTutor.com is the best way to get assistance. And that number that I shared earlier, I am going to share again. But that's also how you can reach out to them. So a reminder, your students are going to, this should say Canvas instead of Clever. I am so sorry. That was me not correcting that. But it is available on demand 24-7, accessible via Canvas. Too many single sign-ons that begin with C for me. So sorry about that. Um, so that would be the on-demand. And then also flexible scheduling. So you can do it through your dashboard, or you can email wjcc at fevtutor.com. This is a Google form that we can also share out, um, but really the dashboard or the email address are gonna be the best way to schedule. And then if you need any help, again, these slides are gonna be shared out. So you'll have the link to get to our support center. But also if you just Google FEV, you can easily get to our support center. So we have specific areas for students and guardians. Um, there are training videos. So this is a great first stop if you do run into an issue to see how you can answer that question without having to wait on our team. But again, you can also email wjcc at fevtutor.com or you can call our family and student engagement team. So that's about it from me. Um, again, here is some of our contact information and I will hang out for a bit. I'll keep the screen up because it is our more important screen so that way you have that contact info. But like I said, I will share this recording and also these slides with your district leader. So if you did want to review them, they can definitely post them or share them with you. But thank you so much for your time.